Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Debbie Weiss, and I'm here today to talk to you about middle age dating. And let's talk about the vocabulary that is going along with dating these days. These are all terms we did not have when I was young. But here they are, and they're all about bad behavior, which I think is very um, telling of where dating is heading these days, unfortunately. All the terms are negative. Most of the word you probably know is ghosting. That's when someone you're dating simply vanishes. They're gone. You may not have heard of caspering, like Casper the Friendly Ghost. That's when your prospect fades out more gradually, but still vanishes. And then there's a new word called zombie, which is when that person resurfaces. So they ghost you and then they zombie you when they come back. Let's get into a few more insidious terms. Teach things I experienced. Breadcrumbing. That's when someone gives you just enough encouragement to make you think they're still interested. So that's the guy who texts a couple times a week, maybe something non-committal, um, and this was after you've been together for a while. So it's just a little bit of info to see that you're still there. Paper clipping, kind of similar, but it's a little less frequent. It's when someone stops in to see if you're still available. Maybe you haven't heard them from them for a while and suddenly they're like, hey, just popped in to see how you're doing. I might be in town in a few weeks to get together. Um, this has not worked well for me because when someone vanishes, I delete their text. So if I hear from them again and they say, hey, how are you doing? I say, who are you? That has worked effectively for me. And let's get into the ugliest words of all that I found. Roaching. That is when your prospect is uh, sleeping with other people behind your back, like a cockroach. Kind of sneaking into the apartment after dark and carrying on with God knows what. And the last term, pocketing. That is when your prospect uh, refuses to put up photos of you on social media or introduce you to friends or family. You're essentially stashed in the back pocket, which actually sounds very uncomfortable. But one thing that all these terms have in common is they could describe, and here's another new modern term, a situationship. And a situationship is where two people, sadly enough, often adults, uh, do coupley things and act like a couple, but they're not really a couple. There are no uh, defined boundaries to this relationship. There's no uh, set program like, oh, uh, we'll go, we go on vacation here and we're going to get married here. It's, it looks like a relationship, but it isn't. It's kind of the facade of a relationship. And I think what's interesting about all these terms is I think they show where dating ghost is going today. There, that people don't want to commit and you get these kinds of funny terms, but they're describing what I would call a paper mache kind of situation. It's hollow. You can pierce it. There's nothing there and it's ugly. And I find that most of these bad behaviors are generally associated with men, uh, often to get women to do more than they want under the pretense that, um, that there's more to this situationship that meets the eye. But here are the important words and the words I've not been seeing much online and the words that don't go with the situationship. The most important word for me is love. That's the word I wanna hear in a relationship. And that's the word I held out for until I did hear sincerely. Other words are planning, as in, Hey, honey, what are we doing next weekend? And if it's a real person, you'll get a real answer. You won't be pocketed nor ghosted for overreaching. Other expressions like, when are your relatives expecting us? Because you're becoming an important part of somebody's life and not just a situationship or someone being dragged along with these sort of infantile terms. And finally, the most important word I know when it comes to dealing with dating at midlife or any other time, self-esteem. So if you see any of this crap going on, feel free to leave. Not a very modern term, but probably the best way to deal with these behaviors today.
I'm Debbie, and I hope this helped. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.